Okta Identity Engine, or OIE, has been built with a flexible and secure assurance model that allows administrators to apply increased security across applications while providing a positive user experience. OIE includes an upgraded authentication pipeline built on a new policy framework that models industry-accepted digital identity security outcomes for access to each application. With this focus on assurance and the user experience, OIE's policy framework has been built to be extensible, supporting industry-accepted digital identity best practices around the globe. Now, those familiar with Okta will notice a change in terminology. Factors, which were treated equally, are now called authenticators and are categorized based on factor types. Knowledge factor types, which include password and security question authenticators. Possession factor types, which include email, phone, and Okta Verify and biometric factor types, focusing on authenticators like Windows Hello, Touch ID, and Face ID. OIE policies are configured with these factor types in mind and are applied to applications as shared policies instead of a single policy per application. This direction of streamlining the authentication process provides incredible benefits. Users can now choose the preferred or most convenient authenticator when accessing an application, instead of choosing those in a sequenced list. Moving from app to app requires less re-authentication thanks to OIE's assurance model and use of shared authentication policies and the new policy framework. Self-service account recovery has been expanded where users now have three methods to recover from a lost or forgotten password or an account lockout. Identities are protected through a phishing-resistant, multi-factor, passwordless authentication method called OctaFastPass and mobile device management and endpoint detection is integrated into the authentication policies for improved security to reduce the risk of unwanted or unauthorized behavior. So how do I upgrade to OIE? Now, before you upgrade, you should review and complete the pre-upgrade tasks and OIE upgrade considerations that are outlined on the Okta Help Center. The process of upgrading to OIE is based on the configuration of your preview and production Okta orgs. Self-service OIE upgrades for eligible Okta orgs can be performed from the Okta Admin Console. Eligibility is based on specific criteria. The first is where the Okta Preview or Production org does not require any reconfiguration. When eligible, Okta Admins will see an option on the dashboard of the Okta Admin Console where they can proceed through the scheduling process to upgrade that org to OIE. In the event that features require reconfiguration, you will be prompted to acknowledge changes that will be made to the Okta org and the user experience for each feature, or be provided instructions on how to perform a reconfiguration. All required reconfiguration steps must be completed before you can schedule the upgrade to OIE. Can I reschedule the OIE upgrade? Absolutely. If you scheduled the upgrade, the Okta Admin Console dashboard will display a message indicating the date and time of the upgrade. To reschedule the upgrade, simply use this link where you can change the date and time for that upgrade. What should I do if I need help reconfiguring my Okta org? Reconfiguration of an Okta org is based on the current features that are implemented. The Okta Help Center and OIE Upgrade Hub includes information on common reconfiguration steps that you can review and perform to prepare the Okta org for upgrade. But if additional assistance is needed, you can reach out to your Okta account team, where the org can be reviewed and options can be provided to prepare the Okta org for an upgrade. If you have additional questions or would like to review your current Okta deployment to determine if it's eligible for an upgrade to OIE, you can reach out to your Okta account team.